Hi there, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and everything you need to run your online business, particularly if you are a coach or consultant or other one on one service provider. Of course, on YouTube, we're doing the DIY piece. And today I have a video about ConvertKit and how to set up your welcome sequence or lead magnet there. This is something that I've done for both MailChimp and Flowdesk in the past. So today is ConvertKit's turn. Take you over my shoulder and show you how to do that. So this is a ConvertKit dashboard. You see we have Grow, which has your list, your landing page, and forms. Um, so the form is something that you will need to set up and add to your website to get this to work. Um, I like to use the Claire form. We're going to do a form like this, an inline form and the Claire form. That way, this is something that's very, very simple. And here we can add a field and we can say this is going to be not a tag. Sorry. So we're going to have it be custom field and have this be first name. And we can drag this over here. So it's first name and email address. Um, we can also add another one. And then we can sort of do this to get this in here and change this one to last name. And since this kind of looks funny and is capitalized, we can edit that here so that it's not the only one that is customized. Um, so that's one thing you can do if you do want it to be that shorter version than omitting the last name so you can have it like this is something you can do um, so you need to embed this into your website and you can go ahead and do that when you hit publish it'll give you the javascript the html you can also download the wordpress plugin if you have wordpress and add it that way um, one thing that you might want to do is come to settings and in general you can have this be either an incentive this is where you can actually um, send them an incentive email and then edit email contents. And this will be basically confirm your subscription and you can um, add a link in here if you want. It's best not to do that yet until they, um, as add your freebie until they've confirmed. And the best way to do that is either after they confirm it, they can go to a URL and you can put your freebie there, or you can actually give them the download and choose a file right here. So that's a really nice feature of ConvertKit is that they give you that option to give them the lead magnet right away just from filling out the form. It's in the form settings. So when you go into publish, again, you can um, find the code that you need from that publish button. And then if you want to do a nurture sequence, you're going to do that from automate. And you're going to pick visual. Well, it's kind of a three-step process. One thing you can do is go to sequences and set up a sequence first. So this is a lead magnet and you can see there are five emails in here. So you want to set up something like this if you have a nurture sequence. You know, to do that, we would add a new sequence. Here it's pulling her logo and everything for her. So all you need to do is adjust this. Um, if they've received their lead magnet, from the email, they probably need to receive another email right away. So this is where you would have a delay going. If you're using the sequence to confirm purchase of a product to give them information, then you might want to set this to zero days. Zero days means you're going to get it immediately. So this is just where you would edit your email content. It's going to pull all your stuff into the footer for you, which is nice. And here we just add another email. And here again, you can set this to delay. And this is a nice feature of ConvertKit. You can determine whether or not you want them to get these emails on the weekend. This is on a, you know, they're all paid plans. This is sort of the medium payment plan that you could have this level of specificity. But you can continue adding emails as you would like. And once you have all your emails in there, the next thing you need to do is, let's see, I'm just save it, right? No, nope. so I just go out here, is to automate it. So here, visual automation, add a new automation. I like to start from scratch, um, but you can also do welcome subscribers. Let's start from scratch. And then here, a great thing to do is, this is the trigger it's asking for you. So it joins a form and we're saying this is the Claire form. Um, you can also have multiple events. So if say we need to have 
it's multiple different forms that would give people this lead magnet, you would add another trigger here. Otherwise, here we just would say add action, add to an email sequence, select our demo sequence, add action. And that might be it. You might also want to give them a tag. I do recommend giving people tags. Um, so this might be, so here I think I have like her herb guide as a lead magnet. So we would say that is the tag they're going to get. That way, when you look at your contacts, you know what they signed up to your list for, you know what they're interested in. So all you need to do now is make this go live. And now as long as you've added your form to your website, your nurture sequence and your lead magnet are all set up. So ConvertKit is pretty easy to use. You just have to remember that things are in different places. You can't add your multi-step emails in the automation. You do have to go to the email sequences for that. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on the video and you can always just subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss anything. All right, thank you.